Hello friends, welcome back in this session, AWS load balancing. Uh, in this session, we will uh, see the AWS load balancing overview and the types of load balancer. So what kind of load balancer are AWS supported that we'll see in details. So let's start. So first question is the what is the load balancing? So load balancer are the server that to forward internet traffic to multiple instance server available in, under the load balancer. Uh, as you can see this uh, in the, this image where the load balancer is configured and in between load balance user and the uh, instance mean your application deployed having the middle will layer is the load balancer so user will see the load balancer and load balancer will redirect your in, uh, traffic to your different instance available under the load balancer so while configure uh, load balancing you have to make sure that your instance is configured with the proper application set and it will respond to the load balancer and load balancer will again respond to your user layer. So why load balancer is required? What is the importance of the load balancer? Why AWS are uh, making the so importance for the load balancer? So basically load balancer help out the spreading the load across the multiple downstream where your multiple servers are configured under the load balancer. A single point access for your client that's a key important things uh, you will get the high uptime for your application uh, which customer won't see your failure for your load balance uh, your instance under the, your load balancer it redirect your request to always the healthy instance it ignore the unhealthy instance so that will be helpful where the customer see always uptime for your application so load balancer will again check with the health check in the periodical periodically and it will check the instance getting healthy or not so it always makes your the decision between your healthy instance and the unhealthy instance load balancer also support the HTTPS support that's called the SSL termination so SSL termination means the load balancer support uh, termination of the HTTPS request and it handle the another request uh, from the load balancer and your instance. So that's complete support given by the uh, load balancer, AWS load balancer and the next one, enforce stickiness. So what does mean enforce stickiness? So enforce stickiness is a uh, enforcing of your request for your customer which always redirect on the same instance every time so that support also available in the load balancer the next one is the support to deploy across AC so AWS provide the supports to deploy all availability zone uh, your load balancer so it's giving the high ability of your load balancer and it it, it uh, produce uh, it helps to your data center loss okay so load balancer types there are three types of load balancer one is a classic load balancer that's a amazon called v1 and it is the old generation load balancer that it launched in 2009 so aws are always recommend to the use the application load balancer and uh, network load balancer as the classic load balancer are deprecated uh, application load balancer is a v2 version and it's a new generation uh, that launched in 2016 post that network load balancer launched and that's called the v2 and new generation and it's launched in 2017 so key features for your load balancer is the health check so how health check is works and how it's important let's see health check is a key feature for your load balancer health check decide to forward load balancer to instance specifically a healthy load balancer to your instance so health check is chat uh, validating your instance uh, health in a periodical periodically way where you have configured so it checks continuously and it's make the decision between the healthy and unhealthy instance configuration of health check is very easy health check can configure response code uh, like 200 or you can customize your health check code the response code given uh, written by the your instance So next is the application load balancer. So application load balancer works on layer 7 that's called the HTTP base and uh, uh, application load balancer allow to handle multiple HTTP requests across the availability instance. 
so that you can handle the multiple uh, requests from the internet and it will redirect to your target group target group calls the route so target group works on the route so where you want to redirect your request from your load balancer allow to handle the load balancing on the same machine using the container so if you want to make the multiple base the load balancing in the same machine you can deploy uh, ecs base um, load balancing or you can deploy your container base that's called the docker base so it is a great fit for the docker base application load balance based on the route and host name in url so basically load balancer works uh, with your host name given in your url or route given in url so it will redirect your based on your uh, route and host name in your url it also gives the customization between the your load balancer port or your instance port so you can make your customization port you want to change your dynamic ports so your application is works on different ports uh, but you want to listen uh, from http port so you can configure that and this is the best use case for the application load balancer is the aws ecs service and micro uh, microservice based application so to compare with the classic load balancer application load balancer we need to create the one classic load balancer for the each application so that's it's a, a very expensive and the very uh, inefficient so thereby the application uh, classic load balancer is deprecated it's not giving the uh, not recommended by the aws so you can use the application load balancer for your classic load balancer migration okay so how application load balancer is working let's see so uh, you you have configured for your login request with the route and the ap application operation to through the different uh, operation given the target group so you have the two target group one is the app login application and second is the operation application so in the target group one there is an instance r running uh, we check with the health check in the uh, configuration and same way target group two is used for the uh, air operation so you have to you have to mention your uh, request url having the login uh, application uh, that's called the uh, routing and the, the application operation you have to mention the same way in the uh, url so load balancer will take a decision and it will redirect the login request to specific uh, target group same way load balancer will redirect the application operation to the different target group so the way it works it will take care for the load balancer level and it will redirect to the specific target group and the same layer of response comes uh, from the instance to load balancer and load balance to your user so how it useful the application load balancer so it's give the stickiness can be enabled at the target group level uh, stickiness uh, direct the generated by the elb store in qkey so no need to maintain uh, from your application level it's handled by the uh, application load balancer where it's saving the cookies on the load balancer level uh, alb supports http https and websocket protocols application can see the alb ip but not the client ip so that's a key important question in uh, aws certification so while customer requesting to the uh, specific instance or application alb will uh, terminate that uh, connection and it forward the again the new connection to the instance and that's uh, the new connection having the load balancer ip not the actual user ip so your instance won't see the client ip so that ip will be basically inserted in the header called the x forwarded for and that header can be having the ip for your client so this is the key important question so make sure you you can know this one so you can give the answer anytime okay next one is the low network load balancer so network load balancer works on the network layer that's basically works on the tcp traffic it's giving the high performance handle the multiple requests in a second so basically uh, for high performance uh, amazon recommend the network load balancer the configuration part is the almost same so there is no difference between the uh, application load balancer and network load balancer but the key importance the use case is the deeper so high performance require the network load balancer and HTTP and HTTP based traffic we use the application load balancer. So a uh, network load balancer supports the static and elastic both IP and later so the network load balancer having the latency as comparatively to the el el elastic load balancer 
uh, of ALB is 100 millisecond and ALB having the 400 millisecond. So you can just imagine that the, it is a two high performance given the network load, load balancer. The configuration part is later load balancer is the same as the application load balancer. So uh, we are not given the different uh, example here, but it's, it's a configuration part is the same way. It's taking the route between uh, this is the HTTP request. Just uh, it's changed the HTTP request to the TCP request. Okay, so the key features of the load balancer here, we'll see that the load balancer are the uh, classic load balancer are depreciated and basically uh, Amazon recommend the elastic uh, application load balancer and the network load balancer. So application load, load balancer works on HTTP and HTTPS. Network load balancer works on the TCP. Classic load balancer and application load balancer supports the SSL termination that's called handling of the SSL HTTPS request. Uh, all load, load balancer having the key feature of the health check of your instance. Uh, application load balancer is great, great fit for the container based application that's called the micro uh, service application. You can configure the elastic uh, container service that's uh, given by the AWS and the network load balancer directly see the client IP. So there is a no uh, X forwarded header because it uh, works on the TCP layer. So that's a difference between the application load balancer and network load balancer. That's a uh, uh, network load balancer can see the client IP, but application uh, load balancer won't. So why we use load balancer that called the AWS uh, guarantee that it will be always working. Uh, it take care of the uh, maintenance and high availability of the load balancing. Uh, it is easy to configure and basically AWS provide the integrated with the many different AWS service with the load balancer. That's why the load balancer is key important. So for XX that the error basically introduced the uh, created the, uh, from the client side that you can understand the difference between the error code. So 5XX error it called the application introduce error so error application could be wrongly configured 503 is capacity or no target group register that's called the 503 error so you can use this code for the further troubleshooting you can also ensure that your security group is properly configured in case of any access related issue so this is all about the load balancer uh, Fundamental in next session, we will going to understand how to configure load balancer, uh, load balancer in application layer, load balancer in network load balancer. Thank you.